Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna show you how to count a set today in the mid lane. Um, if you hate playing against this matchup, then there's a champion you can pick, and that's Garen. First, one auto Q. Bam, just like that. We have a lot more sustain than he does because of the passive and drawn shield and the second wind. You can also go uh, bone plating, but that's usually really easy to bait out too, so not worth it a lot of the time. So, Garen is really strong against that because of his W. He's really tanky. Um, can really be bursted down and he does not use any mana uh, similar to set so he's a champion that can keep up the pressure so i'm gonna build him full crit this game because we also want some damage i don't want to stay um irrelevant now you can go bruiser but it, i find it really boring so i just go um assassin you know with full crit but your W, the key thing here is that you save your W for when he uses that W-E-Q combo or when he uses the ultimate. Um, if you consistently do that because the cooldown on this is similar to his stuff, if you can do that then you can really uh, negate a lot of the damage coming in and then he can keep up the pressure. Look at this. He, he doesn't know how to play against it because he never meets the Garen mid. Um, a lot of people don't know, but he's like an ultimate counter. So just pick him, it's really easy. And then of course focus on dodging the long swords, or not the long swords, the Qs. What does the long swords? Well, I focus on dodging the Qs because that's gonna, otherwise gonna keep down your passive, and we don't want that. But if you can easily uh, dodge the skill shots coming in, you don't have to waste your W. You can save it for something else. He's pretty low, but I still need a couple more points into my abilities before I actually have enough damage to like um, kill him. But I can flash him. He's out of potions now, so we actually already won lane. We are already double farm as well. That's how obnoxious is. They're fighting bot side and they're winning it. Nice to. I'm just gonna not let him show this, because if that happens, then I'm gonna lose pressure. So I'm gonna trim the wave a bit. Now, if I let it crash, then he just gets a free reset, and we don't want that. We're almost full HP, and I did not have to use any potions, because second wind, bronze shield. And your passive OP, and you see this is how he wants to use the W for his main combo. And you can see it dealt almost no damage, and then we just go in, just like that. And full stack Kongra. Just a couple of these and this guy's out. <laughs> this is how fun the lane is for you and it's not very fun for that guy. So now we're just gonna show it out and he's gonna lose some CS if he recalls right now. Like this wave clear becomes a lot more OP as we get um, items. Especially the damaging items. He's losing a lot here, he's gonna lose the cannon too. So we're gonna go for the Gale Force. I think I'm just gonna get the tier 2 boots first. That's also fine for some mobility. And also due to how the E works. Um, so yeah, you can see the CS difference. Um, and then when you get level 6, the thing is you just wait with your silence and use that after he's using his ultimate. Straight when he comes down, silence him and then you pop that ultimate. You don't want to use that ultimate first. You want to use it after he used his Watch out for the room. This world needs hope. Yeah, there he is. But he's not level 6 yet. Should I camp here? I can do so. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Just kidding. I don't think she can do the drake. That's a ward right here. I'm just gonna show this out, get level 6, and then we can help out the jungler. You see, wave clear is really strong as well. Just like that, and the entire wave is out. And if he has to push it out, then he has to use the um, entire combo. I'm just gonna add some pressure. Uh, question mark. That? Doing what exactly? I'm gonna go this way around here. Might be warded. Hopefully not. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and flash down. Hey. Just like that. Just like that. And we still have the ultimate up. So just gonna keep up the pressure. Just don't waste the W. Because if, if it's down, then he has a chance to like, you know, engage onto you. Now I had to use it because of the tower shot. But the cooldown isn't too bad. It is high, but it's not that bad. <clears throat> If he takes that W, I'm gonna kill him. Now his ultimate is up. Now it's important that you have your W up. Um, you want to save it for his ultimate? Look at that CS difference. Just stay in the middle of the wave and just constantly shove him in. You can see right now, we don't really have any damage, but he's already dealing a lot um, to the minions. So we just shove him in like this over and over. And we can also go for the tower. Get a free plate. This is how we gotta pressure him. And then we just keep repeating that. Just see the entire wave. Just watch out because the wave is really far up right now. So Mordekaiser could be coming because I think he's level 6 and that would be a disaster. We see him top now so now we can resume the pressure. I'm just gonna head top. This guy has to clear out this way first. This is why Pryo is so OP. If he flashes, I'm gonna kill him over here. Never mind, they got this. I'm gonna ward here so this um, Shivana does not die. And bam! There is no counterplay. This is how you want to counter the set. This is how you can counter him, and this is how they cannot do anything at all if you play it right. It's also really hard to mess up on Garen because of how simple he is. And I'm going for the AD build, not the tank, uh, the Brusa I mean. If you go for the Brusa, then the lane is even easier and e even harder for set to play. Gonna get the Noon Quiver, quiver here, refillable, control ward. Right, we'll just continue mid lane, double CS. Double CS lead already. And when we have the Gale Force, this like um, this is to help with the gap closing because like otherwise Karen's pretty easy to um, kite and also this like surprises a lot of people when you have that extra gap closer so you can like um, Gale Force into Q and then when they're silenced there's no counterplay anyways so they're gonna die. Look at this wave clear, one knee and the wave is gone. That was just one knee. We don't care about that damage right there because I have the passive. They're on shield, so we're gonna heal it up. This guy has to use potions. <laughs> this guy is so angry. Dodging one Q, and then just stay in the middle of the wave, eat it, and it's and it's gone. Easy PC. And then you can also roam if you want to, or just keep the pressure up. Let's get some free damage on the tower. This guy is really far behind in CS. 38 CS. And the ultimate is almost up too. So we can look for another kill when that is ready. If he roams right now, I'm gonna take his plates. Problem is that he can't really roam. And I know this is so frustrating to play against. But this is the ultimate set counter. Normally set is really OP in lane, like he has no counters. But in, in this case, he does. And that is Karen. If I had ignite, I'd flash Q ult and ignite him, and he would be dead. Oh, Jinx ults. Is that a kill coming in? Just see in the inside wave again. I see the Mordekaiser are coming in. the AD carry bot lane coming in? <laughs> I just kept walking this way around here so I don't get flanked by the bot lane and also because Zed can never engage onto me. I'm gonna kill him if he does so... That's why I like kept walking towards Zed and then back, wasting his time. But he really wants to flank me because he might actually kill me with his ultimate up. Like Mordekaiser is too tanky. Especially if he has the um, uh, red smite, because then I deal zero damage. 
I'm gonna clear out the wave again. Mordekai might be coming around here, so I'm just gonna clear out real fast. Have fun being stuck under the tower. Gonna keep pushing. Ouch, tower. There we go. You can like time it, like when, just when it hits a minion, like the shot comes out, then you can auto attack the champion and it will not get to damage you. You actually have enough time to like auto attack and get out before it gets to do anything. Now I'll play it down. Need a bit more gold for the Gale Force. Look at that massive CS difference. This is how you play against the set. This is how you get a really easy lane as well. Just make sure you're not full AD because that obviously sucks. I can engage onto him if he wastes stop you like this. Guess I just keep doing this. Then when he walks up to last hit, if he doesn't have his Q up, then I just hit him with a Q. Damn, and an auto attack, and I did not take a single a tower shot. I'm gonna move to. Maybe I can flank the set coming in. An ally has been spread. Spread. Uh, Riven, come, bro. Come, come. Wait, how fast is this guy? Peace. See ya. I don't need the ultimate for the set. He could be sitting here, you know, trying to get some free damage off. But it's really a waste, because if he uses his W to poke me, then I just shove him in. I have really low cooldown wave clear. I just need the E. I need one ability, and this guy needs three. And because you go uh, Assassin Garen, this E is gonna shred people to pieces. I got the Gale Force. It is showtime. Now I need the um, armor pin item because I have a pretty tanky team. Well, not team, but like jungler. The Mordekai is really tanky. He has a squishy item right now, so. But the rip buff does make him pretty tanky, and he's gonna get some armor too. The like second one shot build is really get a, great against like squishy bot lane, squishy mid, and squishy top. But we now have the guild force. Extra engage, gap closing range. I'm gonna pop this one so they can see if someone else is coming. Get the tower. Oh, yoinked it. But I think I saw the kill with your guild force. <laughs> I, th I think I yoinked the kill with the uh, guild force. Gonna ult. Aced. Easy PC. But this is how you kind of set, guys. This is how easy it is. You just have to pick Garen and play like I did. And this champion is also really easy as well. And you can also go Bruiser Garen. That makes the lane even easier. Uh, but like, quit Garen or carry Garen. It's a lot easier to carry with. I love more effective, in my opinion. Because like, one Q is a kill on any squishy target, because you have so much damage that you just burst them down um, before uh, the silence wears off. Alright, we can back off. Getting on a ton of gold. Should we help top? I think Mordekaiser has ultimate made up now. Not that way. There's the ultimate. Please let me make it. Oh no, I might die. Oh no, I might. Oh, actually, I might die. Maybe no mind? Or die? No, I guild force. Let's go. He has that W thingy up. Okay, now he used it. But yeah, I don't know if he has smite up. Never mind, I don't think we want this. 
Okay, the um, uh, ghost is down, so I think that's worth it. He also has armor boots. That's like a champion that Garen cannot deal with, like the Mordekaiser. So he's too tanky and he's gonna out DPS. Right, the dragon's coming up, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset. I actually could get anti-healing, should I do that? Nah, I'm just gonna get the immortal, or the, uh, what's it called, Lord Dominix. For the Mordekaiser, so I can shred that guy too. We can just keep, uh, we can go topside I think. And also, you can also like take away the jungle camps on the way to lane, um, because like your E just shreds everything um, on site. I think Joanna wants to red. Why is our support farming? Um, hello? Oh man. Man. Yeah, that's actually some decent damage from the uh, Orianna. Only problem here is the uh, Mordekaiser, so I cannot get altered by him. Right now, that guy is just too tanky, so I have to um, get the tower right now. If he ults me, then I cannot escape. I'm not gonna buy QSS. I don't like buying that. You really want the... Um, Tower plates. But look at how fast we clear out. And the wave gone just like that in a couple seconds with one ability. We might be camping in the bush. Let's check. Could also be like up here. Use this ghost, but he's, he has his ultimate up now, that's for sure. Bam, and we can get the Lord Dominix. Oh, he's topside. Okay, shut down too. So honestly, with this build, you just camp in bushes and then wait for a squishy target to walk up. Heal force, Q them, and they're dead. With a combo. I don't think we need the Herald right here. We push it down too fast. Orianna should be here, Mordekaiser should, should also be here. Oh no! I'm dead. I am so giga dead. Or maybe not. Maybe I survive? GG's? And Shivana also survived. I ain't got a kill. Well that's cool. I want the red. Okay, take it then. Look at, look at how fast you can clear out the waves. Why oh, can't I take this way around? Alright, a ton of gold again, so I'm gonna go ahead and recall, get the Lord Dominix. You see, some armor items are coming in. Armor boots. Get this one, and then you can get the Infinity Edge. You can also go for Death Stance if it's needed. I'm gonna get some mental healing. Um, right. Because they have Sona. And there's some Mordekaiser heals with the um, for Conqueror. Even Serpent's Fang would actually be decent, but I prefer somebody else to buy it. Um, don't want that on the Garen. Do we do it? I'm just gonna go top. I want this wave. It, we have the wrong guy bot lane. <laughs> yeah, we, we have the AD carry spell pushing in the bot lane and we're doing the uh, Baron. But this is gonna backfire so hard if Mordekaiser comes and steals it somehow. But it's too late.
The Drake. You just go for anyone, like any squishy one. Just try to like get close. Ah, they're a bit too fast. And Jinx split pushing. Not sure why. <laughs> My Jinx taking the towers. Yeah, don't need to waste the ultimate. We're gonna get the second rake, or last rake, I mean. GG's. Garen Gaming. See, these guys don't know about the secret Garen build. You gonna engage on me? Because he's not alone? He's not. So now we get... I think I'm just gonna go for Infinity Edge. I could also get this. Mm, nah. Infinity Edge. More damage on the E. The crit stuff. So we have the soul. And bot towers down. So just commit or top. Just waiting for the flash and the cooldown of this one too. Well, he's dead. Nice, we just commit now. And buff up the wave. 80 carry split pushing. I think this guy's mad, that's why. Uh, hello? I gave you the rip off, bro. Cannot take away. He farm. Well, I'll just take the objectives then. Gale Force Q OP. Zero counterplay build. We didn't even need the uh, Jinx this game. Let's see if he tries to help me. Ooh, so close. Look at that. Well, GG's.